Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the error code 802-4402F, protection definition updates failed. An unexpected problem occurred while checking for updates. For information on installing or troubleshooting updates, see help and support. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to make sure of is that your date and time settings are correct. If they are not, you may want to consider right-clicking on it and then adjusting date and time. You want to set time and date automatically. And if for some reason your time zone is incorrect or when you're setting time automatically, it's not setting the correct time, you may want to toggle that to the off position so you would not set time automatically. And then you'd have the option to actually set the date and time manually here. So pretty straightforward process on that option. The next thing I'd recommend trying would be to open up the search menu, type in Windows Security, go ahead and open that up. And basically the reason we're going here is to make sure that our security is turned on. So virus and threat protection, it's just giving us a little message about setting up OneDrive, but otherwise it is turned on. So if I just dismiss those messages about OneDrive, here's it's not letting me dismiss that one, but you can see that no action is needed. You can see you have a little check mark next to virus and threat protection settings. For some reason, it's not letting me hide the Dropbox message. It appears now it was. There was just a little issue there. It was a little lapse. But you can see everything has green check marks next to it. Again, make sure that's all turned on. If it wasn't, you need to just return it to the on position. And then you can also open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match. I'll go back with command prompt, right click on it, and then run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now shall be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. And if you go ahead and check for updates again, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.